Okay, um, <laughs> this is uh, what you see in there is a radiological survey mirror or Geiger counter. Um, here's the probe, this right here. Um, I just had a PET scan, uh, a process where they inject you with radio uh, radiation tagged glucose, a sugar. Um, and then the machine looks for gamma radiation coming from your body and because I have, well, I have cancer, lung cancer I've recently diagnosed and the PET scan at least in this case is done to uh, determine if it has spread and if so uh, to where so the basic nuts and bolts is they inject you with this stuff, they do the scan and anything Cancer cells love sugar more than most other things in your body. Um, there are a few exceptions, but if there are cancer cells, they're going to absorb more of this radioactively tagged sugar, and so it shows up on the scan so they can see if it's spread and to what extent. Um, so right now I'm radioactive. Um, the half life of this stuff, it's uh, fluorine 18 is the nuclei. The nucleotide, nu the radioactive stuff, flor uh, fluoride 18, which, well, some process I'd rather not get into time wise, uh, it ends up uh, emitting gamma rays that can be uh, basically a, a three dimensional uh, scan that can be taken of your body to, so they can locate and Know, know know how much it's spread. Um, right now the, the meter's running, but the probe is not plugged in. Here's the read for the probe. Um, as soon as I plug that in, it's going to peg the needle. Uh, this thing has three ranges. There's a times one, times ten, and times a hundred. Times one is the most sensitive, uh, and times one hundred is the least sensitive. Um, it'll if I'm even in the room, it drives this thing nuts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the probe in, it's going to read, and I'm going to leave the room. I'm going to go about 40, 50 feet away and give it a, about a half a minute or so to uh, settle down so that it gives a reading of just the regular old background radiation which is present everywhere that this thing's capable of uh, uh, registering, measuring. So I'm going to do that, plug this in, and hightail it out of here. And uh, I got a little timer here. So 30 seconds, I'll be right back. But I'll approach it slowly so you can see what happens here. Here we go. Contact. And it's picked. Standing over it, right here. 
So, on that high scale, the least sensitive, it's getting a pretty decent reading. I'm going to sit down here. I'm going to take this probe and put my hand over it. Coming up and up and up. It'll settle about there. So now I'm going to take it and hold it up against my thigh. And the clicking is so many of them, it sounds like white noise. And it's going all the way to the top of the scale. I'm going to hold it to near my kidneys. It's off the scale. Uh, anywhere on my chest, my head. Aim it away from me. Drops back down. Put it on my head. Look at that. Dang. That's above 50 millirems per hour, which is the highest uh, radiation level that this is capable of uh, measuring. Down to my chest. What where the tumor is? Off the scale. Away from me. Lowers it toward me. Up against. So, I'm radioactive. Which will last and long enough where with this instrument I'd probably be able to measure some something left of it uh, and it may be two weeks out from now from today uh, half-life of uh, 110 minutes so every 110 minutes this decay will be it will decay to half and then another 10 minutes or I'm sorry 110 minutes after that will be decay to half of the previous reading and so on so it, it decays fairly quickly but uh, I knew I'd, I knew I'd be able to measure this. I'm surprised, really surprised, uh, just how intensive it is. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? It's amazing uh, what they do these days. And uh, supposedly, this cannot hurt me. Well, it's not likely to. But I'm told to stay away from pregnant women a couple of weeks. Stay away from babies or anybody, anybody that would be sensitive to this radiation. I'm a, a walking gamma source for some little while. Also, uh, some of it will be excreted in my pee. I'm probably not going to video me taking a reading of my pee, but I am going to do that. I mean, take the reading. Just out of curiosity. And after a while, with that will be just pee. Just dump it down the toilet. There we go. Uh, what an adventure, eh? Hmm. Rather not have to do it, but hey, just it is what it is, as they say. Hmm? See ya.